Hi, good morning. Uh, my name is Hil Kagalawan. Today, I will make a simulated operation of a hydraulic pump pump model MF10. I have here the housing of the model MF10. I have the one inch ball bulb attached to it. The two parts of the Hillman ram pump is this is the impulse bulb housing. We have the the valve mechanism for the impulse valve and we have the valve mechanism for the air chamber valve. Okay. <clears throat> so before I will operate all these things, I would like to present also the basic components of the Hillman ramp pump system. So very essential to the efficient operation of the Hillman ramp pump, you need to have the drive tank. In this case, I use the plastic bucket, 60 liters uh, uh, drive tank. Okay. It is placed in a pedestal 1.5 meters higher than where this ramp pump is right now. And we have the drive pipe. Basically, the drive pipe about 3 meters longer than the height of the drive tank. In this case, we have a 1.5 meters height drive tank and we have a 4.5 meters length of drive pipe. This is the Hillman Ram Pump proportional drive system. Okay, this is to ensure that there is an efficient operation of our Ram Pump. So in order to, co to connect this one, we have this adapter. Actually, it is in the a guide drawing. Then I will attach this one. Yeah. So, I have here the air chamber fixed to its body and also a ball bulb is attached to the delivery port. This is the delivery bulb flow control. Okay? Then I will attach my pipe right here. So, every single part of the ramp pump system must be attached before doing any testing to ensure that the whole thing is properly uh, assembled. Okay. <clears throat> Assuming I have a water source, the model MF10 needs 0.5 liters per second water supply. 0.5 liters per second is when you measure your water supply from the source, the 1 liter bottle will be filled in 2 seconds. So that makes 0.5 liters per second. Okay. The impulse bulb mechanism you can adjust this up and down by well manipulating the nuts and you can adjust this one i asked my assistant to fill the drive tank with water this is a simulation we just get our water from our tank so it's now filling the tank so you must close this bulb and also this bulb i use the ball bulb because it is very easy to to manipulate to open and close okay the gate valve needs more rotation before you can fully open or fully close it okay so before operating the ramp pump situate that there are no water coming from the joints When the water comes in to the ram, this plunger goes up 
like that. But it doesn't move automatically because it compresses the air inside. While compressing the air inside, this, this plunger here stops at the up position, up position. Okay? Do not push the plunger like what you did. That's wrong. What makes the ram pump operate automatically? It is the balance of the compressed air and the weight of the impulse valve plunger here. Okay? I am waiting for the drive tank to overflow with water. This is how we connect our drive pipe to the drive tank. Okay, and from that drive tank to the ramp pump, we have a pipe, the black one. up to that height okay so the water will come out right here okay it's now overflowing and i'm ready to operate the ramp <clears throat> so let's continue when i open this the plunger goes up. Okay? Look, it does not operate on its own. Why? Because the air inside the air chamber is being compressed right now. Water coming out from the stiffener, don't worry, that's normal, okay? Do not push. Just close this one. Remember, this, this is still closed. When I close this one, this will go down. Okay? That's just like that. So when I open it again, when this is properly set up, the drive pipe length is correct. The height of the the height of the drive pipe is properly placed, computed according to the design stated here in the drawing guide, and you will have no, no problem operating this ramp. Now, because it is already automatic, I will open this one in a little increment, small by small, small opening, one at a time. If I open this abruptly like that, the ramp pump stops operating. Why? Because the compressed air is consumed abruptly. So what we'll do? No problem. Just close this back, close this one, and operate again. Just like that. And again. Okay, then go back to, little by little, you have to open that up. Not abruptly, okay? Another one. Another one. Another one. By the time, the water is coming out right here and it's going up to the point of the delivery, okay? Then I will open more and more and fully open so the water comes out at the end of the delivery pipe i don't know if you can see it but it's right there Okay, that's it, and you're good to go. Make sure that your ramp pump should be properly fixed to the ground so it doesn't move. Okay, thank you.